What's up guys, back in today with another reaction to Spy Classroom, this time of episode 5. Uh, looking forward to today's episode, last episode was probably my favourite of the series so far. A um, bit of an introspection into the new girl, um, I do forget her name, you guys know I'm pretty terrible with names. Um, but she's up there with actually one of my favourites right now with Annette, um, who hasn't really been explored that much. We haven't really explored many of the other girls, um, again the last episode was actually the kind of biggest focus we've got for one of the girls so far. Um, so hoping we can do that for more of them going forward, um, again especially Annette as uh, she seems to be one of my uh, favourites. but. Um, do let me know what you guys think of this episode though down in the comment section. Make sure to leave a like on the video if you guys like this one and subscribe to the channel if you do want to keep up to date with these weekly reactions and let's get right into it guys. At the opening and the ending last episode as well which of course they uh they didn't show us till till then. I think it was Anri was it? Oh uh, probably not. Not Anri. Something like that. Four letters. Again I'm terrible. <laughs> I'm terrible with names as is, let alone Japanese names, let alone Japanese names in a, a show that's got like 10 girls we've got to follow. Funny enough, I actually think I've got better with Japanese names and remembering them than I am with names in real life, funnily enough. As bad as that probably sounds. <laughs> It wasn't Anri, was it? It was ah, uh, uh, I had it for a second there. It's quite a um, old sounding name. That's why I like Annette so much. She seems like such a, uh, a bundle of fun. That huge old chainsaw. For Kodak. Heard that word enough from uh from Magical Index. No misfortune. Kodak. Lamp light days. This is again before the mission took place. Okay. I, I did say last episode, I'm kind of worried that this is going to be the case for quite a few episodes going forward that we're actually going to go back in time. Seems like we could have just done this before. But I guess it would have ruined the, the uh, surprise, but this stuff should come before <laughs> the payoff, if you know what I'm saying. Doesn't really work as a story if you don't do it like this. Uh, I said that about last episode and I really liked it, so. Nice, it's nice of them. I think we could tell that from the opening, couldn't we? It isn't. <clears throat> no, there isn't, to be fair. And also, to be fair, she's also had an attempt at killing him herself, so I guess they all kind of deserve a little one. Well, these girls here are my favourite ones. 
The ones that are in the bath are probably, I'm not so I don't like them or anything, but they're not my favourite ones. I think the four we just saw there are probably on top for me. They've just got kind of bigger personalities, if you know what I'm saying. But the white head one here is pretty cool as well, actually. But yeah, the red head one. He's uh, quite quiet, but so am I. Bam. Got nice rooms. <laughs> that and I'm pretty 100% sure that wow but yeah I'm pretty 100% sure that uh, feature will not be seduced especially by these girls Again, how the hell does he make so much mess? <laughs> I mean, I know he's fucking do a bit like PTSDs and such, and it's just a mess. But how does he get so much paint on the floor? Maybe this would work for some of you guys, but um, <laughs> again, I don't, I don't think he's going to be falling for this at all, is he? I guess he must be happy to fucking clean up that paint all the time though, so I guess it's not really an issue. Deeply embarrassing. I like this one as well. Like I said, all those girls, um, all the smaller ones seem to be my favourite ones, funny enough. How's that little dog we see inside a hat? Oh uh, no, that's the one. What did I say? Annery. Slightly similar. <laughs> of course you do. This is why I like an app. He's on the ball. Making traps all the time. That's a lot of door handles, by the way. It's five door handles. How the hell does she do this? <laughs> and what? How would that kill a or 
cap. Oh, I see. I see. How the hell did she do that, though? Bloody hell. She changed the staircase <laughs> to a, uh, a slide. Wow. I like the I like the uh, inventiveness though. See, so, yeah, this is what I was kind of looking forward to before the final mission. A little, a little bit of their personalities coming through. You don't have to spend a whole episode on each of them like we did last episode, but just a little bit of time of each of them just to get their personalities kind of shining through helps out a lot. Did you? <laughs> you? You think you should? Wow, well, it was on purpose. <laughs> I hate you. A good mess, though, a good mess. But like I said, I think those girls right there, those four, probably some of my favourites. The red haired one as well. Seem like the kind of kindest ones. A lot of most fun ones as well. But like I said, we've only got a little bit out of each of them so far. Great day. Nice of that. And she seems very kind as well, this girl. Quite like her. I, well, I, I was kind of expecting that to be the case. Oh, I thought it was like some poison dinner. Um, guess not. Probably safest way to do things, considering the situation. <clears throat> Firing range? Oh, shit. The game was Russian roulette. Seems like a pretty decent way actually to beat him. If you want to die. What the fuck? For every ball in one shot. <laughs> What the fuck? I guess it is possible, but no way that's possible on a on a kind of continuous scale, if you know what I'm saying. Maybe it is.
This is a really nice town, actually, isn't it? See nearby. All quite grouped up. Almost looks a little bit Italian. A little bit. I'm not sure if it's actually kind of set in Germany. I'm not sure why a lot of anime is set in Germany. A lot of spy anime. I guess it kind of makes sense, but... It'd be nice to change, have a change, if you know what I'm saying. <laughs> What's that face? Okay. Yeah, sure is. Or maybe he's just making you guys think that's the case. Perhaps. You'd be pretty genius if he were, if that was the case. We just gotta make something with a little bit of something he's allergic to in, which is quite dangerous. Very dangerous actually. Like we're not trying to kill him, are we? Nice job. Some pretty good team building right here. I imagine, yeah, I imagine these two would probably be quite awful there. <laughs> With the bad luck and then the uh just the net being a net. Yeah, as I said, I think those two are my favourites. Looks like they get along quite well as well, actually, or maybe not quite well, but in a good way. Yep. Also, I don't realise that the fucking the falcon hawk thing is actually that girl's. Seems like she's quite good with animals. Looks good. Looks good. Apologies if you can hear that, guys. There's a big plane going past. Very loud. I'm just gonna pause it for a second. I don't usually get too many planes come across here. 18, 18. Hardly ever actually. I think this is actually the first time I've had to actually stop a uh, a video for it in the two, three years I've been doing YouTube, so maybe actually once before a few years ago actually, but yeah, it's a, it's a strange occurrence. Get back to it now. If you guys couldn't hear it then, probably about that. Uh, let's get back to it. But yeah, I, I knew from last episode I knew the 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 blonde and the the pink haired one would be my favourites. 
like I said, they're just the most fun, aren't they? Not what we want to hear if he says yes. I guess it is for her. <laughs> she just seems like a kind of kind mother, doesn't she? I think that goes along with her nickname, doesn't it? Daughter dearest. And he's scrummed all up. Yeah, as I kind of suspected, I think he actually led these guys on a little bit, didn't he? But at least we made him a good meal. Had some bonding. How oh, did you? Back to the messy fucking room. Clean your put put some fucking carpet, some spare carpet or some sheets on the floor or something, please, bro. Every time I see it, it just gets at me. <laughs> That was a good idea. Quite funny how they were trying to lead him on earlier with the sedu with the seduction and stuff, but he ended up kind of leading them on about his uh, allergies. Is it? Well, his girl's actually a little younger. They're quite a good team building today, actually. Yeah, sure have. Also made Lila quite the reliable girl as well, haven't they? Last couple of days. She really has quite a brought them all together as well, hasn't she? After they all kind of failed miserably at their solo attempts. Inaugural? Is that what they're calling it now? They're not just calling it the impossible mission now, they're, they're, they've actually, that's a bit of a piss take to be honest with you. <laughs> they're now calling it the inaugural impossible mission, like this is the first of many. It was literally kind of built up to be the impossible mission. The final mission. <laughs> the biggest and hardest task, which we completed in episode 3. And now they've char they're starting calling it the inaugural impossible mission. That's a piss take. A good episode though, good episode. And that was a joke, but um, yeah, good episode. It's quite good uh, seeing them all kind of come together a little bit today. Like I said, I kind of wish we got this before episode 3, but um, I'm fine again it now, I guess. It's fun seeing the girls kind of just hang out and have fun. Like I said, Annette and this uh, this blonde one here, his name I always... Again, I'm terrible. Um, yeah, Annette and the, uh, the blonde one here that was introduced last episode. Or the episode before, but properly last episode. Definitely uh, becoming my favourites, that's for sure. Any scene with those two is a lot of fun. Look at that little fat bird. 
But yeah, I like this guy as well. She's really kind, as well as the red-haired one. She seems really kind also. I don't know if there was any previews or anything is there. Yeah, thank you guys for watching. Um, again, I, I, that that fucking line right there from, from Klaus about this being the inaugural inaugural impossible mission is an absolute piss take. <laughs> I, I hope you guys got as mad as that as me because again, that is a bit of a joke. Um, they still don't have a name here. Two, three, four, five, six. No. They still don't have the um, the blonde-haired girl's name in this uh, in the vocal cast, which is interesting. I wonder why that is. Do they just not change it after adding her in? It's a bit of a shame for her voice actress, isn't it? Her voice actress is really good as well, isn't she? She's quite very subtle, which obviously uh, goes quite well with the character. But um, yeah, I, I hope again. I kind of hope you guys got as mad as that as me because. It's, uh, it's, it was kind of built as it being the final, hardest, impossible mission, the one impossible mission. And now there's, it seems to be, there might be a few impossible missions. There might be, might be many more to come, which, um, makes sense now. But again, that, they, he said that before, that, like this, this, hap this whole episode happened before the, kind of uh episode two and three i think um yeah i think yeah i think it was before episode two and three and obviously before the final mission happened so um bit of a uh, bit of a piss take with that sentence right there it might be the subbing if it's the subbing then apologies but um yeah i mean they weren't thinking of anything past the final mission were they before it actually happened and they actually completed it because it was an impossible mission they they're were most likely to die i think it was like a 99 percent chance of dying so why would he then say the inaugural impossible mission it doesn't make any sense <laughs> it doesn't make any sense um but yeah thank you guys for watching and um, again that last time there just pissed me off a little bit but a uh, good episode in general like i said good little showing from all of the girls um some more than others again uh we didn't get much of the um the taller and older seeming ones funny enough we got a little bit of the seductive one today um again that's not really my type of thing um i'm not really about fan service and such maybe for you guys that like fan service you might be one of your favorite girls for example but um yeah definitely kind of solidified more of who is my favorite kind of girls in this show um and again they all seem to be the smaller ones the blonde uh, blonde haired one um who we only who was the surprise girl um again i forget her name apologies about that but her annette um the daughter dearest uh, red haired one um the girl with the who who likes the animal as well I, I really like animals so um obviously i like her a lot and obviously the main uh, leader as well but um the other the other three um haven't or two i should say without the seductive one haven't really got the most out of them yet so hoping we can see a little bit more of them they did have a kind of solo thing going on earlier but it was kind of very short wasn't it about 30 or a minute long so 30 seconds or a minute long should i say um so yeah hopefully we get a little bit more out of them going forward but it was a really nice kind of bonding episode today wasn't it again learning a bit more um like i said i do kind of wish this happened before the kind of um what's it called the kind of big final impossible mission but i guess it is what it is um it's actually more fun just kind of spending time like this than it was doing that impossible mission funny enough but uh, yeah let me know you guys thought about this episode down in the comment section uh, also let me know who your um your guys favorite characters is at the minute down in the comment section as well um do leave a like on the video if you guys like this one and subscribe to the channel if you do want to keep up to date uh with these reactions so again i hope that, i hope that fucking line pissed you guys off as much as me because that that's going to get to me <laughs> but yeah thank you guys for watching and uh have a good rest of your day guys